Hello there, sorry from 17 once again. This is my Bloodborne No Healing walkthrough. We've travelled back to Uden Chapel, we're going to be moving through the Cathedral Ward, and we're going to be taking on Vicar Amelia. So, Amelia is a very interesting boss for a few reasons. Uh, most of them are, her animations look quite similar, but can be easily masked by just the visual flair of the effects that are happening on her hair. For the most, She's not too bad, however, it's easy for the fight to go wrong, and it's easy to have a tough time with her. Conversely to this, it can also be very easy to control her and very easy to dominate her once you know how to take her down. The fight you're about to witness is a successful one, however, I'm going to get hit by the questionable detection. The Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. The holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral. If you seek blood healing and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Uh, the, uh, the crazy like wave move she has, which I don't understand why it hits us in circumstances like this, but it's just how the, the game works. So she's a beast, so she's weak to serrated types. You also get bonus damage against her with fire, because once again she's a beast. I'm going to pop a pellet to try and get some additional damage, even though at this moment in the game's life cycle they were actually pretty shitty, because building them up took forever. And at the, at the beginning I'm going to bait the jump attack so that I can try and weaken her knees. Th watch this. So you see that? She did the prayer move, and it was perfect. I dodged it, I had no issue with it. This is going to hit me now? Why? Why was that any different? And did you see the fucking damage it just did? 99% of my life gone off a move that didn't hit me. But aside from that, here's the fight. Weaken her legs, repost her head. Um, I tried there to get an R2 and then do a repost. It didn't work, but I still got good crit. Also be aware of, if you damage her and you see the blood coming from the limb, that limb's going to take additional damage. And you want to take advantage of this. However, you can cripple every limb she has. So you want to attack a different limb if you get opportunity to put her down and get the repost. Uh, once again, that was it. That's what I tried to do the first time. Hit her with an R2 and then repost. It's the exact same thing we did against the Cleric Beast and it is one of the fastest way to damage race this boss. But get to a different limb, use a transformation attack. That was a, I think that was a stagger as well. Um, but be aggressive guys. Be aggressive, know when to dodge. Uh, I thought she was dead just then. She wasn't. And uh, I stood towards the camera like, yeah, I'm a badass, I'll walk away from the explosion like they do in the movies. But she was still alive. But that just goes to show how quickly that fight can go wrong. She hit me once with a questionable AoE move, and it took off 99% of my life. But that is the end of the boss, folks. We have now unlocked the next section of the game, where things are going to get a little bit more interesting. And I will see you in those chapters. You take care now.